Hey y'all, and welcome to another day of beta. This is actually my second time trying to record as the first time. I had actually sent all the boys out of the house except for the littles, and my recording disappeared. So we are restarting and going to try again. Currently, I have Zane and Leo over in their little play yard, and Jeremy is fiddling with something. And we have, I believe, Pinkalicious on in the background. And I've tried to mute that, so it won't pick up a whole lot. But I'm sure if the music starts playing or they get really loud, it'll pick up something of it. But we'll, we'll hope that this works out good enough. So yeah, today I am going to share with you my Fiber Box or my Fiber of the Month Club um, box from Paradise Fibers. This is a subscription-based box. It is the first time I have received one, and this is a box I have purchased myself. I am not endorsed or in any way connected with Paradise Fibers other than I am a loyal customer. Sorry about that. We had a little meltdown with Zane and Leo, so I have now moved Zane over into the saucer because he is the one that can't escape it. And we'll try and restart. Anyways, this video will contain spoilers. So if you are a Fiber of the Month subscriber from Paradise Fibers and you have not received your box, you may want to skip this video until you do so that you don't have any of the spoilers. This is my first box from Paradise Fibers and I did ask if I could use their site photos, but I have not heard back from them yet. So I will flash a picture when I start talking about any new item, but since I did not get their written permission to use their photos, it'll just be the three second flash and then I will go back to one of my not so pretty photos of the items. Yeah, you can find all these items, or at least the base of the fiber items, over on their website. So. My fiber came in a nice little box. It is a box that has, um, I know I should know the technical term for this, but I don't, but yeah, the top of it does fold down into the box so that it's actually a great little storage box, which is very handy because I'm kind of tired of the normal typical box that doesn't store nicely since the flaps always get damaged and yeah. So in our box, it does have a paper which describes the theme for the month and this month it looks like it was a Alice in Wonderland meets Easter or through the looking glass meets Easter um, so we opened our box and it has a tissue paper with Jeremy are these um, just polka dots on the tissue paper Sorry. they're glittery are they just polka dots so we have glittery polka dotty um, tissue dots. paper. Well, but they're shiny, right? It looks like regular polka dots. They're shiny oh, polka dots? Yeah, they're shiny. Is it different colors? Yeah. Different oh, colors. I thought they were just shiny, so I didn't know they were different colors. And it says that it is scented tissue paper. My husband said it's scented. I honestly do not notice any scent with it. I know they mentioned in their um, thing that if you're sensitive to fragrances to mention that before you get your box but you know since we're not fragrant uh, snobs or picky here I didn't care and honestly I can't tell that it's scented. Ah, so it looks like I edited out a little section that was actually kind of a comical moment but the first thing that we pulled out of our box was a little sticker and it's like an egg shaped sticker and then I will go back to what I have pre previously recorded with me and Jeremy discussing it okay but yeah egg bunny daddy said something about sheep I think is there anything else on it it has to be a bunny it's a bunny oh it's a sheep wearing bunny ears isn't it is that what he said I think that's what he said something like that but yeah he suggested that I put it on my computer, my husband, not Jeremy. <laughs> and, um, Are you putting this on I might. At some point. What? 
Are you freaking out? Yes. Okay, so yeah, and then for our first fiber, our main fiber is what Dane is our through the looking glass at yes, okay. Is our through the what Zane? What? Is our through the look glass uh, fiber. This is a merino, cashmere, and silk blend. It also has faux cashmere, which is 10%. Um, and 50% merino in the colors spearmint, um, aqua, and rust. Sorry, I looked at this a while ago, and now I'm trying to remember. <laughs> and then the silk is in the colors uh, Dasmin? Oh, no, I'm not going to have to look it up again. Something and Mediterranean. I want to say Dasmin. Um, and the cashmere and faux cashmere. Um, it's 15% regular cashmere. And then they're both in like a natural white color for those two. And this fiber is very nice, soft, and fun. Um, oh, now I can't remember what else I said about it. And the first time I did it, it is three ounces. And I think I have actually looked at purchasing it before, or at least maybe during the last time they had a sale. But then I decided I'd just go ahead and get the Fiber of the Month Club box. And then that's the fiber that we had this month. Uh, and then our second fiber, another three ounces, is an item that I noticed that they just added to the website. <laughs> What's it? It's a fiber they just added to the site the day after I ordered my fiber of the month box. And this is a uh, faux angora, so our fake rabbit, to go with our Easter theme. This fiber is, again, just like a white, plain um, fiber, but it does say that it uses the protein-based dyes, um, which is what your normal wool dyes and things are. And I had seen a tip to get the uh, Easter egg dyes after Easter when they're on clearance, as those work. And so we have picked up a few of those at Target over the clearance. I think we got two of them at 50% off, and now it was all 70% off. So we got uh, a pa two packs of primary, and those are all, I think they're all six tablets each. I could be wrong. but So we got two packs of the primary, two packs of the neon, and then we found a pack that had neutrals, and I'm not sure if that had six tablets in it or not. So yeah, we have 12 tablets basically for each of those colors so I would plan on dyeing up my Easter rabbit fiber with some Easter egg dyes which I think would be quite fitting. So also in our uh, what came in the box with the Angora fiber was this plastic Easter egg and it has what I assume is a piece of chocolate inside. I haven't opened up. Jeremy it's not for you. <laughs> Oh, there we go. It has a... What? I don't know if it's chocolate or if it's just kind of, Oh, there we go. There's a couple different things. There's like a Hershey Kissy thing. And some other little thing. And I assume that's... They said something about a special offer and it looks like there's business or something in it. Um, Jeremy, can you pick up the string? I'm stuck. for me. Oh, did Tokes get up on you? Yep. Um, so yeah, the Easter egg had a little tag, which is somewhere in my box, but keeps running away. Uh, oh, where is it? Oh, I can't find it. <laughs> it had a, it had a eat me tag wrapped around it to go with the Alice in Wonderland theme. And then the last item in the box was this little bottle, which I think is to kind of represent the drink me bottle in Alice in Wonderland. I'm pretty sure there was a drink me and then eat me. Um, or maybe that was just the grow and shrink was the potion. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've 
read or watched any Alice in Wonderland slash Through the Looking Glass? Because we did read Through the Looking Glass, didn't we, Jeremy? Do you remember that? That was a while ago, though. That was at the old house. Um, but yeah, we got a little bottle, and inside the little, what I call, drink me, but don't actually drink what's inside bottle, <laughs> is a thing of um, Angelina Glitz. I'm not sure if this is the heat bondable version or if it's not. I assume it's the heat bondable, judging by what I got was kind of a light pink color. And so, yeah, I assume that it is the heat bondable because the pink in the not heat bondable was fuchsia and this is a lighter pink. And I think there was at least three different pinks in the... Um, heat bondable Angelina, but I was really glad to get this fiber as it's like $10 or a dollar, $10 for 10 grams or like a dollar a gram of it. And I maybe have a gram in this bottle. Jeremy, you don't want to weigh something for me, do you? No! <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's maybe a gram of this Angelina and so yeah I'm not sure what I will use this on or if I am going to be brave enough to try it soon but yeah I've looked at it but I didn't even realize how expensive I noticed it was ten dollars but I never actually looked at the grammage on it and that it was only uh, 10 grams which your typical Fiber is about four ounces, and that's about 115 grams, I think. I might not be remembering correctly, but it's something like that. But yeah, so that was, um, I believe, it from our Fiber of the Month box, and I'm quite happy with it. I had actually looked at the Foangora Fiber the day that they added that to the site, and I was like, ooh, I wish I would have had got that when I purchased my Fiber of the Month box, but haha, I already got it because it's in the Fiber of the Month box. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut this here, and we'll talk to you later, guys.